Hi again, 12 minutes before 6. In this morning's consumer alert, appliances for sale at stores come with a yellow energy savings tag. The label gives shoppers an idea of how much it will cost to run that appliance. But as Julie Watts found out, it could cost a lot more depending on what state you live in. They're the bright yellow labels that many rely on when picking out new appliances. They're supposed to tell you how much it'll cost in energy each year. Just one problem. The label's wrong. Economics professor Lucas Davis has been studying these federally mandated energy guide labels, and he says don't count on them to be accurate. They show information that's based on national average electricity prices. And in many states like California, Connecticut, New York, Hawaii, energy prices are up to two times more than the national average. The problem is that people have no idea how much they've spent for electricity, so I think they don't know how to make that conversion. But Davis points out, accurate or not, the labels do serve a good purpose. Side by side, they can help you decide which appliances save the most energy and money, even if you're not saving as much money as the label would have you believe. And we found that those people that saw the better labels made better decisions. They saved money, a lot of money. Now, Davis presented the idea of state-specific labels to the FTC, which thought it was a good idea, but too expensive to carry out. For CBS News, Julie Watts, San Francisco. Now, the FTC rule also requires energy disclosures for certain lighting products and water use labeling for certain plumbing products. In 2010, the FTC announced that it will begin requiring energy guide labels for televisions and new information for light bulb marketers will also start showing up on product packaging.